New at 11, a look at what it's like to be in the boots of a soldier. This Veterans Day, how a collection of soldiers boots from overseas is turning into a work of art here in South Florida for the world to see. CBS 4 Cynthia Demas has more on footsteps to freedom. You take steps every day, but the next time you do, consider what it would be like to walk in these boots, boots of a soldier who's fought for freedom some who never made it back. These boots that I'm holding in my hand are First Lieutenant Dimitri Del Castillo. A 24-year-old soldier in Afghanistan, West Point grad, his unit attacked. And after he was shot, he continued staying on the radio to give them coordinates and information. And Dimitri Del Castillo died that day in the Kunar province in Afghanistan, wearing these boots. Nicole Pritchett's brother, Wes, was on duty with Dimitri at the time. He got a call about his fellow soldier, fellow classmate, one of his best friends. She told me one of the worst and most cutting pieces of news I've ever heard in my entire life, and that was that Dimitri had been killed. I, I crumpled in the ball and just started crying. These boots tell a story, these boots tell a story, and once they are decorated by an artist, they become part of Footsteps to Freedom. The exhibit will be on display during Art Basel, artists from all over the world helping tell the story. Incredible artists, street artists like Retina, Shepard Ferry, the list goes on, transform these boots into works of art. And we're gonna be displaying these boots in an invisible staircase, kind of going towards the heavens. Soldiers like Cedric King supporting the message, though his boots didn't make it. When the bomb went off, I can remember everything slowing down. I really didn't know what happened in the, in the initial moments, because I'd never stepped on a bomb before, so I didn't know. I look down, and I see my legs are mangled. Cedric since run a marathon, and now tells the story of his fellow soldiers' boots, having to carry on the mission no matter what happened to you or your best friend. I had a job to do that next day, that next week, that next month. So when you walk, consider the stories that these boots could tell, the ones that witnessed the fight for freedom and those who paid the ultimate price. And that was CBS 4's Cynthia Demas reporting. After Art Basel, the boots will be auctioned off with all of the money funding iPads for soldiers. A group started on Key Bistain funds the iPad so soldiers can keep